Greetings everyone and welcome to a new first taste for the channel where today we're going to be checking out the demo for Grow the Seed, a survival card deck builder. Now if that sounds intriguing to you, you can play this yourself. You can go down into the video description below and click on the link which will take you to where you can download it on Steam. And if after giving it a try you decide that you would definitely buy this when it comes out then consider wishlisting it on Steam as every wishlist is basically a vouch for the game. Algorithmic gods will uh, pass on your message and uh, speaking about the algorithmic gods if you want to send a message to St. Algorithmus that you enjoyed this video and want to see more then consider uh, clicking on some of those lovely buttons while you're down there now as the uh, as far as the demo is going we have a couple of things that we can unlock which is interesting but uh, you know plenty of things coming soon as one might expect we're going to be starting as an apple seed in a plains area a standard seed with 10 starter cards let's start growing max cards are five and a miracles are three we're going to be jumping into the uh, tutorial don't worry everything will make more sense once we do now season calendar we've got five weeks uh, the fifth week seems to be a boss this is kind of reminiscent uh, with the varying uh, trails of like FDL, honestly, I kind of like that. Uh, we've got a mystery location. We've got uh, what I can only assume is an enemy location, very enemy location ultra enemy location. But we're going to start off nice and easy, and then we'll see about branching out as we go. Branching out. Wow, really? Did I just do that? Uh, hi there. Thank you for playing Grow the Sea demo version. Would you like to start the tutorial? I think we probably should. Uh, let's do it. Great, let's get started then. How to play. The goal is simple, to grow your seed into a fully grown tree and survive. Okay, that seems fairly uh, fairly uh, uh, obvious so far. Uh, daily food, uh, daily food addition rather, the total food we've got, the daily food cost. Your plant's life is determined by its food. If it gets to zero, it's game over. Uh, I imagine that's total food. Always keep an eye on your daily food cost. Make sure you have enough before advancing to the next day. Sunlight and water are used for photosynthesis to gain food. Essence determines how many organs you can grow. Okay, that's kind of interesting. You gain experience for every card you play. You get a reward for every level up. All right, I like it. In Grow the Seed, every action is done by using cards. The cards are miracle... Ah, that's what miracles are. Miracle cost, card type... The card resource cost, so there is both a resource cost and a miracle cost, okay. Card description, oh, fair enough. Uh, miracle is used for playing cards. Miracle resets daily. So, okay, so we've got a, a limit to how many cards we can play, plus we actually have to have a certain amount of resources that we've accrued to play the cards. That's actually an interesting system. Uh, advancing to the next day, we'll calculate the resources. Pay attention to the random events on each day. Some of them might be helpful for the plant, while others harmful. Random events have various effects. You can see the status effects here. Tip status effects are not just from random events. You can get them from cards as well. Growing roots and branches. Grow roots to obtain resources from the underground. Grow branches to create space for leaves and flowers to flourish. Tip growing branches also increases essence. Ah, okay, so that's how we're going to get the essence value. I'm not seeing very many resources up here. So, well, I guess I, there's, there's four. I wonder if we're going to need food to grow as well. That might be an interesting one. You can grow multiple leaves on one branch. Upgrade flowers to turn them into fruit. To upgrade flowers, simply use the Grow Flower card on existing flowers. Ah, okay, that's a handy bit of info. Fruits grown over time until it's spoiled. Spoiled fruits will convert into food tiles in the soil. Ah, so planning for the future. Harvesting fruits will obtain a fruit currency. You can use it to buy things that will help you survive longer. Harvest fruits before they're spoiled. Rightio. Duly noted. Beware of pest invasions at the end of the week. Deploy your defensive units in strategically to fend off the pests. Successfully repelling all pests will grant you rewards, while failing to repel them will result in grave consequences. Uh, there are quests you can complete while growing. Complete it all to get extra miracles to grow more. Ah, okay, I like it. Very well. Tips. You can click on each stat to view more details. Not all cards can be cancelled after selection. Once you select it, its effect are played right away. Okay, does it tell me which ones are which? Okay. Well, there we go. That's the tutorial, I guess. Uh, I'm going to be honest right from the get-go. I'm a much bigger fan of tutorials that teach you how to play by giving you a 
kind of a playground in which to play rather than just an info dump, but that one wasn't too egregious, let's be honest. It was uh, fairly easy to follow, all things considered. Right, what have we got? We've got roots, we've got leaves, we've got a stem, and we've got more roots. Uh, we've got different types of roots, all right? Uh, grow a branch, stem, and gain three essence. Well, we've got enough essence that I can do other things. Can I Can I play a leaf card? I No, I don't. <laughs> I can't grow leaves out of my stump. Fair enough. Uh, right, well, let's grow a nice little Y shape there. Uh, we're obviously going to go for some leaves straight away. Let's get some leaves growing. Uh, currently, we're only going to consume one food, so we've got ten turns to get some more. Uh, let's have a look. I'm going to say we've only got one more to play, so I'm going to try and reach across. Can I see what these are? No. Well, I, nevertheless, let's try and reach. Ooh, could I po possibly hit both of them? Oh, I can Right, so my food just went up, my water just went up. Okay, we've got to grow 15 leaves. I've done one of those. 20 roots, 10 flowers, harvest three apples, interesting, and defeat 40 pests. Okay, well, that was a nice first day. These are the cards that are in the draw pile. We've got sun absorb, photosynthesize, stem straight, grow flower, and spawn scarab. Spawn a scarab that will attack incoming pests can be placed on the stem or a root. Very well. Okay, well, next day, let's see how this goes. Gained a little bit of resources. We're basically uh, net neutral right now in terms of food. Uh, so we can some absorb, but is there really much point with one leaf? Uh, oh, it will actually tell me how much it will gain. Oh, convert one sun and one water to gain one food. Gain four right now. How would I gain four? I've only got two. Oh, is it one for each water and food? But I need one of each in order to do it at all. So the minimum food I could generate is, is two. Perhaps it's uh, well, we'll probably do a sun absorb just to find that out. I think that's probably worth it But let's uh, grow our tree a little bit more. How are we gonna grow out? Uh, well, let's grow upwards more than outwards for the time being. Okay, let's try a sun absorb It's gonna give us one now. Will this give us? Oh, it does. Okay, so you're getting one food for each water and each sun You know what sure let's go. Uh, do we really need it? Let's let's start building flowers sure Let's uh, build towards the future rather than the short-term immediate gains. Ooh, that water is gone. Okay, so the uh, resources are finite on the ground. Duly noted. I mean, that kind of makes sense, obviously, but uh, duly noted. Uh, let's continue growing up. I would like a new leaf. Let's pop that next to this flower there. I think I might want to turn this flower into a fruit, potentially, to get some food in the future. But now I would very much like to try and branch down a bit more. Uh, which way do we want to go? Let's have a quick look. Ooh, metal tiles. Ah, I imagine I can't do anything. I've got, I've got to work around that with my roots, I would, I would guess. That would make sense. Uh, can we go left and right? No, we cannot. Okay, so it is literally just vertical. Uh, okay, well, let's start making our way out in this direction. I could go over there straight away, but... Uh, well, I guess this would give me two points to build off since it's a Y. Oh, okay, so we can uh, choose a reward. Oh, we just leveled up. I wasn't paying attention. I do apologize. Uh, so we can get another scarab card. We've already got one of those. We've already got a grow flower card. Spawn caterpillar. Spawn a caterpillar that will attack incoming pests. Can be placed on a leaf. Okay, I'm down with that. We'll grab an extra friend to help us. Now, I would have imagined a scarab and a caterpillar were not exactly things that a tree would want to necess uh, necessarily invoke itself. I, I feel that these are generally considered enemies of the tree, but uh, maybe they serve a purpose. Who knows? I could possibly spawn one at this point. We've got another couple of days to get there, and uh, they are popping up reasonably often, so I'm not too stressed about it, but ooh, look at that. We are now consuming three food. One, two... Hmm, I'm not sure what's dictating that. Maybe the fruit was part of it. I really should pay more attention. I will try to do that as we move forward. I've got a straight route here, though. So let's go ahead and try and branch over. Oh, we could possibly even hit this water there. There we go. We're actually gaining some more water again. That's good. That's good. Let's go for a... I want to grow our essence out a little bit more but I think a sun absorb and then a photosynthesize would be a good move we've got enough to get 12 food from that so there we are let's put a little bit more distance between us and starvation and I'm all down for that one right now okay this is a sunny day so water from all sources 
is down. Fair enough. Let's have a look. We could grow another flower. How long until that rots, I wonder? Uh, might it be worthwhile? I think it might be worthwhile for us to get a caterpillar to help us out. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to play out, but we'll hope that it plays out well in our favor. Though well, that has very much eaten up our essence there. Uh, so for that matter, we're going to grow another Y... Oh, I don't have enough miracles. Ah, damn it. Should have gone for a Y stem there, my bad. Will the caterpillar eat the leaf at all, I wonder? Uh, well, I can now build a straight stem at least, and I can get another root, and I think hitting that food would be well, well worth my effort. So let's see. Oh, we can hit both of them. That's fantastic. Nine water coming in now. That's actually huge. Uh, okay, well, I think at this point, well, we definitely need more essence, and I, I'm going to branch out a little bit wider on this side, maybe pop down an extra leaf as well. There we go. Uh, obviously, these don't really do anything until I've got a sun absorb, which is an interesting uh, way of playing. I like it. You've got to really plan for the future. Now, we've gonna, we're have going to start a battle over on here. We could do a sun absorb now, which wouldn't be a terrible thing. You get some more roots, perhaps. Maybe try and branch out all the way to all of this food over there. Uh, there's also the scarab, which, and considering we're about to fight some things, maybe I want to pop down. Uh, can I? I can put it up there if I want to. Let's let's try and protect our roots. Which which side do we want to protect? I think. Well, let's go for the middle. Do, do we have? Oh, that's got an enormous range. Uh, that one hasn't. But uh, okay, so we might see the the roots being nibbled on the sides. That's. Okay, I guess. Not really what I want to see, but uh, I'll live with it for now. Uh, for the time being, since we don't have much protection on the roots, I'm just going to focus on absorbing some sunlight. There we go. Let's get into this battle then. Pests incoming. I've got one. Bit, we've got a lot of worms. Okay. Well, just as well, I popped down the scarab. Then looks like I can attack with this. Uh, some sort of bug spray that is permeating the soil. Very high-powered bug spray. I hope it doesn't twist our roots. What kind of pesticides are in this? Who knows? It's, oh, we've got a, an overall health of the tree down there as well. Oh my lord, there's so many wounds. Now, Scarab's doing some work, though. Thank you very much, Scarab. There we are. Ah, huh, very nice. The pests are repelled. Choose your reward. Ooh, okay. So I can get more sun absorbs. And right now, I'm kind of feeling that. Or I could draw a card. I could re-roll. Oh, this is what the fruit is used for. Unlocks more choices. Ooh. I'm going to leave that one. I want to see how long it takes for this to spoil. But I think the next fruit that we have the uh, opportunity to gather, I would very much like to be able to uh, have more choices here. But uh, when we've never got the essence to play. Or, well, we often don't have the essence to play all of our cards or the miracles. So I don't think drawing an extra card would be useful right now. And the scarab is so expensive. I think the sun absorb is going to be what we go for. Ultimately, went with my the first thing that came to mind at the very beginning. How are we doing? We've defeated 10 of 40 pests. We've got to grow another 9 flowers, another 15 roots, and another uh, 12 leaves. That's not too bad, all things considered. 9 flowers. We've got to, we've got to harvest 3 apples. Alright. Tempted to pop down another caterpillar, but it didn't really help me. Let's go for another... Oh, we don't have enough miracles. Oh! Ah, it isn't an actually a, another day. Ah, okay. So moving into the... Oh, there we go. The food just dropped. Oh, wow, that added a lot of food. All right. Um, if we go down here, we might end up having to fight a rather large pest area. Whereas if we go along here, I'm going to have the choice. Well, I guess I would still have the choice there. Um, nevertheless, let's, let's go along the top, and then we can, we can decide based on how things are going. That was a lot of food that just dropped into the soil there. That is amazing. All right, I'm, I'm a very big fan of that. But we need to grow more stems. Uh, were there any upgrades for growing stems themselves? No. So it's just growing stuff on the stems is the focus here. Oh, I still don't have enough essence. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Well, let's start branching upwards right now. Uh, we're also going to grab a stem Y on this side, I think. There we are. And then we will start plonking down these leaves. There we go. I want to try and keep my resource generation close to where I can defend from. Got a scarab, another caterpillar. I could photosynthesize. I could gather some sun. But the order in which we're going to do it, going to pop down a leaf, going to grab a load of something. We've got loads of water down here. 
And then we're going to generate a nice uh, 16 food there. Okay, now we can't play anything else. Time to move forward. Got a lot of roots now. Have we got a root straight? We do have a root straight. Now, what are you? Oh, I can't branch into it. Interesting. Is it perhaps just a, a natural barrier? It might be, then. Okay. Uh, what are we hurting the most for? I would say it's generally speaking a lack of stems, a lack of essence. So uh, we're going to continue building that out as we can. I could spawn another scarab if I really wanted to. And I'm getting a little bit worried that my root system is now diverging enough that we might want scarabs on each side. But I could also grab an extra root, an extra leaf, and sun absorb. I think it's going to be the sun absorb. Let's uh, build towards our photosynthesis. Destiny, there we go. An extra six sun, that's an extra 12 food when we need it. We are currently consuming six food a turn, though. That's a bit rough. Thank goodness for all of this food. We want to get some more fruit, ultimately. I think I'm really... St oh, okay, well, we really want to get some more fruit, then. Uh, that's fair enough. Let's get another flower going. Uh, sure, we'll pop it in the middle here. Again, keep it under the watchful gaze of this caterpillar. Could get more sun. Uh, we've got more leaves. We do have more leaves. Uh, I wouldn't be able to photosynthesize this turn though. So let's go sun absorb. Go back up to 12. Get another 24 food in there. We're now at 61. So that gives us another six turns, assuming we don't do anything, uh, anything crazy and grow our food consumption too aggressively. If you get another sun absorb, we've got plenty of stems. We've got all stems right now. Okay, well, since we don't actually have anything to building stems, I think we're going to go with the Sun Absorb. And then, oh, we just straight up lost the Caterpillar. I didn't realize it was an either-or choice. Uh, fair enough. I was going to pop the Caterpillar down and, and Sun Absorb, but uh, maybe there is a certain uh, order of operations that you need to be mindful of here. It didn't tell me that, but uh, I guess we'll just make do with it i suppose all right i would like a stem straight here let's continue reaching for the heavens there we go we're kind of lopsided here must be quite a lot of wind hitting this tree uh but we're doing okay i think in terms of uh we've got a photosynthesis there that's actually quite nice uh we do want to branch out and get some more roots though uh which way do we want to go i'm a little concerned we've got plenty of options here. Ooh. No, that's very, very much a a a stop there. Can I cancel that? Okay, we're gonna branch out on this well, maybe going straight down. Might even be easier to hit all of that going down in this direction. Sure, and since this is something that I will get points for, let's continue building down in that direction there. We have only got one more day until we hit the pests, so I'm thinking now is the time to play a scarab. <sighs> we could also plant a leaf or grow a, another flower. These are all things that we need to do. We're almost up to halfway on the leaves, which is nice. Almost up to halfway on the roots as well. Uh, we're quite far away from the flower, so I think we're going to focus on... Well, the scarab for now, because I would like to protect my root system. I don't want all of that energy that's gone into building that to go to waste. Right, battle is probably next day, I'm assuming. Yes, it is. We could get another scarab as well. Okay, well, that's not terrible. Sun absorb, we get more water from all sources. Uh, we've got a root straight here. Actually, this root straight may be what we want. We could either go for the water there or go straight down here, grab quite a bit of water. There we are. That's actually perfect for me right now. Let's get an extra leaf, and then I think we're going to go for a sun absorb as well. Uh, let's pop the other leaf on there, and then sun absorb up to 13. Not too bad. So that's 26 food potential in the bank, which we're definitely going to need because we're now consuming seven food a turn. Okay, let's see what we've got on the docket. What? Uh, what? Did we just lose music? Oh no! <laughs> Why? Ah, demos. Okay, well, let's continue taking out all of these birds. There we are. Yeah, it does look like we've lost music. I'll see if I can fix that in the settings in a moment. But that caterpillar is doing some work. Oh no, my, my roots. Better get down here and take these out. You know what, though? It's allowed me to know that there is actually sound effects for the 
uh, for the spray can, which I wasn't aware of before. Ah, there we are. The music is back. Perhaps, perhaps it was meant to be some sort of combat track. Uh, we could grow another flower. That would allow me to get the fruits. Or harvest a ripened fruit and get run fruit. I think we're going to go for the harvest fruits. I need to get three of these anyway, so it makes sense. But ultimately, I, I do want to be able to grow more and more and more flowers where we can. Okay, I'm very glad to have the music back there. Okay, week two. We're going on to a who knows week. Ooh, I'm seeing two potential attacks from pests there. All right. Uh, all right, well... I would very much like some fruit, so let's go ahead and get you turning into fruit. We've got leaves, we've got roots, and we've got caterpillars. I could place a caterpillar and a leaf, or a caterpillar and a root. Ultimately, what I do need to do, though, is get down here and get some more food. Uh, there's a little bit of food over there. There's a lot of food down here and a lot of food over there. I think we need to be making a beeline in this direction. Um, sure, I guess we can branch off from either one of those. I only really wanted to branch off uh, in more or less a direct way. We'll pop down another leaf. We'll get this one over. Uh, only three leaves to a stem, it seems. Fair enough. And another Y stem. Oh, I don't have enough miracles. Never mind. My bad. I keep missing that. Right, we've got our first harvest fruit. Is this a ripened fruit? It is. Okay, there we go. Now, we're not going to get that fed back to us in terms of food, which is a shame. Uh, I could sun absorb twice. Or place down a leaf and sun absorb. Oh, it's an obvious one. We're going to sun absorb twice. There we are. At this point, we would get an awful lot of food the next chance that we get a photosynthesize card. And there we go. There's the photosynthesize card that we needed. Um... But I desperately want to get down here if I can. Do these require any kind of... No, they don't. Perfect. Okay, they don't require any essence. So I could have a root straight. Go straight for that water. There we go. A sun absorb. And then a photosynthesize for some huge gains. 94 food. Well, that was definitely worth it. Okay, having all of these leaves. Who knew that trees need leaves to survive? And water. And we're not really generating much water, to be fair. Alright, we definitely need to build up our essence now, so going to need a stem straight, I think. Uh, let's continue to build roughly upwards. Ooh, level up, nice. We definitely don't need more harvest fruit. I don't really want to be harvesting the fruit, if I'm honest. Uh, what more leaves, though? We could now. Ooh, yes, let's unlock that. Ooh, wasps. Wait. Is this game going to make me cheer on wasps? A spawner wasp that will attack incoming pests can be placed on a flower. Ah, okay. Well, I want to build more flowers anyway, so I'll take the wasp card, sure. All right, well, I don't have a flower, though. Oh, wait, no, I do. All right, I'm, I'm done with this. Sure, we'll pop a little flower over there, and I guess this one has to stay a flower now. Uh, which isn't exactly what I would have wanted, but I can live with it, I think. All right, where do we want to place you? I'll place you uh, growing up the tree along here. We've actually got a lot of potential sunlight absorption now. I'm, I'm very happy with that. That costs three miracles to place, though. And three essence. I'm not going to be able to place it next turn regardless. Because I don't have enough um, potential to generate essence here. Okay, well, that's uh, something I should have paid attention to. And instead of placing the leaf, I should have placed the Y stem. I really should always try and keep above three essence. That seems to be the, the point where everything kind of breaks down a little bit for me. Uh, would we be able to reach the food over here? I think we can. So, given that, uh, sure, let's reach out there. There we go. Taking the edge off the food loss a little bit. I could place a leaf and I could absorb some sun, or I could place another caterpillar if I really wanted to and place another leaf. Uh, we're generating food, uh, sorry, water slowly, so a sun absorb right now isn't necessary, so I think going for the caterpillar is actually the better option. Oh. Oh, of course, yes, I placed down a roof. I swear, I, I do pay attention sometimes. I like to think I do. My goodness. I'm getting too excited. So many things to press. There we go. Pest incoming. All right, what are we fighting this time? We definitely saw some things up in the sky that time. And some birds, right? Okay. Well, the caterpillar's doing a good job by the looks of it. Uh, let's get you down. Try and get you off the roots there. 
Stop. Oh, you've already taken a chunk out of my leaves. Oh, my lord, that's a big chunky boy. Okay, you definitely need to not be there. Oh, my lord, there's a big chunky boy down here as well. Ah. Uh, the caterpillar seems to be significantly better at doing its job than the scarabs at theirs, but I think it's a, a matter of range. A dry, hot day. Change current weather into dry, hot day. Or more sun absorb. Or more... Fo Ooh. Hmm. We've only got one photosynthesis. So I have to go through the entire deck, and if I just don't have enough sun when it shows up, that's kind of a problem. But that being said, more sun absorbs are always an easier sell for me. Changing the day doesn't cost anything, though. But do we want hot weather? We're already struggling with water. Uh, I could actually unlock that for three. Uh, well, we're far from having three, so that's not going to be happening. Um... I think we'll take the sun absorb. Alright, so there's nothing else we can do right now. We've got a, by the looks of it, a sunny day coming up. And then more pests. We've got a Y stem, photosynthesize, root straight. We obviously want the y, y stem, because we actually quite badly need it now, so let's pop you down there. A root straight, we could branch up to this water, or branch across to this water, and I think we're going to do that. Uh, or alternatively, I could try and make a, a run for this food, because that is a big block of food there. Still, I quite badly need the water as well, so let's try and bring some more water coming in. There we go, that's a little bit better, isn't it? And the last thing I'll do is a big chunky sun absorb. There we are, 27. That is wild. We do need to hit the water, though. That is actually a bit of a problem. Um, we need a rainy day. We don't want dry days. What's uh, next to be drawn? We've got leaf, a uh, couple of stems, one flower. I think I need to get more flowers, honestly. That uh, should be good enough. Uh, where are we standing in terms of... Oh, we, we're almost uh, defeated enough pests at this point. Uh, we're over halfway towards the roots, and we're well over halfway towards the leaves. In fact, I'm not sure whether we're going to hit the leaves or the pests first. Probably the pests, actually, thinking about it. Um, flowers we're quite far away from, and we still do need to harvest another two apples, so... There is something to be said about that. Now, we've got a caterpillar here, which I wouldn't mind playing. Uh, get a little bit of extra protection for the tree. Let's pop you in there. And that leaves one last thing to do. And that is going to be a y, uh, a y or a straight stem. I've learned my lesson. Let's uh, branch out the tree a little bit. <laughs> no! I keep doing it by accident! Uh, right, there we go. I definitely saw something in the sky just then, but we've now got two caterpillars, so I'm hopeful that they're going to be able to deal with this a lot faster. But let's try and help out the scarabs. They have a much harder job because they're so... Oh, wow. Where did you just come from? Let's try and take care of you. Spread out our attack. Oh, they're being attacked by both scabs. Oh, actually, the scabs are pretty strong. Uh, what the heck is that? <clears throat> no feedback. My lord. Okay, well, let's have a look at what we got. Ooh, sweet scent. Gain four essence. And it doesn't require us to build it. Ah, oh, but you're putting it up against a flower. The essence is a constant problem. And growing the size of my tree is causing me to eat more food. So if I can get essence without needing to increase the amount of food I need... Oh, we definitely just completely... Yeah, it was, we defeated four pests. It's given us more miracles. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. But if we can grow without having to... Or rather, gain essence without having to grow the size of the tree, that's probably a better thing for us. Uh... Which one do we want to go for? We don't really need the pests anymore, so I guess we can take take life easy. Ah, oh, there we are as well, straight away. Is this based on the number of flowers we've got? I can't check. That's a shame. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get a bunch of essence from that. Nothing like a little bit of extra help. We can even pop down a wasp at this point. But let's have a look at our other options. We've got another leaf, so let's pop you in. Right about there. We could photosynthesize for a wallop great chunk of food. We can no longer do the wasp. Um, sure, let's go for photosynthesis. We'll get a little bit. Tops us up, back up over 10 turns. And I am, against my better judgment, going to grow a little bit more. There we go. Up to 9 essence. That should do us well for a little while. Let's have a look. 
at what is in here. Caterpillars, we've only got one wasp, sadly. Yeah, the lack of extra flowers is hurting us a little bit. I do wonder if maybe I should have uh, gone for the other option. Uh, I don't want the Y stem. But here we are. Let's go ahead, absorb all that precious, precious sunlight. And I guess we are going to go with the Y stem. Uh, let's branch out a little bit more in this direction, though. There we are. We're kind of filling this out a little bit. I could see this being a massive, massive uh, canopy with time. Oh, well, that's all we can do. We've got some more caterpillars. We can grow another flower. Leaves, roots. We definitely need the flower, so let's pop you down. Uh, there. We could have gone for the fruit, but honestly, and maybe we should have, frankly, because we're closer to getting three apples than we are to getting another six flowers. Uh, we've got to focus on leaves as much as we can. We'll be doing that anyway. It's kind of a passive thing for us. We always want more leaves. And then some more roots or another scarab. Maybe a scarab down on this branch. But if we reach down here, we can definitely hit this food. So I think we should. Let's go ahead and aim down there. That way we can branch off to that water as well. Now, sadly, we can't do anything more. So we'll just pass the day. Grow another flower. I'm here for it. Sure. Uh, do we want an extra... Well, I guess. Will this... Oh. Ah, there we are. Get an extra grow flower right there. Thank you. But did that count? Oh, yeah, but now five grow flowers, even though... No. No, we're not. So turning it into fruit did not help us. That's a bit of a shame, but it was worth for sciencing, I feel. Now, there's a lot of stuff down here. I'm getting a little bit worried about how far my root system is reaching, because this is very far away from my scarab now. Granted, we're a good long way away from the pear, so we'll have plenty of time to absorb that water there. And that's what we need to do, because we are so leaf-heavy now. We're, we're heavy in the photosynthesis. Uh, let's go ahead and grab an extra 12 sun. That's amazing. Uh, at this rate, we, we genuinely are not going to... Uh, we're not going to be sunlight locked at all for a very long time. Let's go ahead and pop that down. We're up to 12 food now. Uh... Do I want to place this? Well, I can't place it anyway, so it's no point. See, I am learning. I'm learning to check now. We could harvest the fruit, but I don't think we're going to. Uh, we're definitely going to use the sweet scent. That's amazing. I guess all we're going to do is absorb ridiculous amounts of sun. Uh, we live in a very dry part of the world. I've not seen rain once yet. I do believe that, uh, it, at the very least, it showed that rain was a possibility in the tutorial uh, on the tutorial cards. And there we are next day. Getting a little bit of food. Still not quite where we want to be. I could pop down another caterpillar. I could pop down another scarab. And honestly, it's only essence that this pulls from. So I see no reason not to. Let's go ahead and pop a caterpillar there. And then let's help out our root system. And that's going to use up two. Do I want to photosynthesize? There's 52 food. Do I need to worry about that? I've only got one photosynthesize in the deck, though. So I kind of need to go for it every time it shows up. I would have liked another scarab, though. I am really tempted. Um, oh, I think we're going to go for the photosynthesis. I think it has to be. Again, there we are. 154 food. That gives us a lot more room to expand. Hopefully, I can defend the roots myself. We've got a lot of defense up top. We've barely had to defend the top. So, really, our caterpillar strategy is working out well. Uh, there we go, that water is gone. Uh, so just as well, we photosynthesize. Ooh, we could actually go for a wasp as well. Um, sure, let's get a wasp and see how this comes into play. At this point, I'm fairly... Oh, well, I guess I don't deserve the confidence, but I, I feel confident that the, the, the branches are safe. It's the root system that is in danger. Now, how do we want to grow the root system? Do I want to grow the root system? I do have that option right now. Uh, sweet scent would just give us more essence, which we don't need. And another flower is a potential. That will bring us up to halfway on the flowers, but I don't really think that's where we need to be anymore. I think it has to be the root system. Do we want a straight? We do. Let's go for a straight root. And I could hit over here. Actually, if I go for a root, root Y, I might be able to hit both. 
Yes, I did. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Actually, that's really taken the, uh, the... That's blunted our food consumption. We're still not doing well for water at all. In fact, we've got one water source and we're barely pulling anything in from it, which is a bit of a pain, but we'll see how that goes. Right, we should be able to ignore the sky. Is it only giving me sky? Of course you are. <laughs> it's on to my strats. Damn it. Okay, well, okay, that worked really well. My lord, there's a lot of birds. Let's try and stun you. No, let's get you out of the sky, please. And thanks. There's a lot of birds here. Let's try and thin out the weak ones so that my caterpillars and the wasp will focus on the strong ones. The actual threats. There we go. Actually, look, it looks like the caterpillars are great for pulling the birds out of the sky. And the wasp just deals with them when they're on the ground. That is amazing. I do apologize for the frog in my throat. Oh, oh no, we do have pests down here. Ah, they, they took scallywags. Distracted me, they did. Oh, well, okay. Uh, you know what? They've not really done too much damage to my root system. I think we lost one root. Ooh, double absorb. Gain two times extra resources from root absorption. That might be nice. Gain a miracle. Zero cost card. Am I generally playing through all of my cards right now? I kind of feel that I am. So I don't think that's really going to help me. This might help me, though. So I think it's between these two. Um, these large miracle cards, though, me, uh, put me more in favor of the blessing. So I think I'm going to go for the one cost, draw two cards. Because at least that way I end up with one extra card. Um, it might not be the best play, but well, it's the play we're going with. Right, okay, on to the next week. Back down to only five. All right, facing off against what looks like a goat or possibly a sheep. And we've got sun absorb. <laughs> I don't need it. Uh, what I do need, however, is food. Uh, we could branch down here maybe to hit some food and some water or just put everything into just going straight down right now. And I kind of feel that straight down is the play. There we are. Uh, we could draw some more cards. Let's do it. See what we get. Uh, we've got another caterpillar and leaf. I mean, the leaf isn't actually a bad one. So, okay, I'll, I'll take that. And then we can sun absorb. Don't need it. <laughs> We're going to gain 14 sunlight. Uh, but oh well. Now, again, level seems to be... Oh, there we are. Perfect. Level seems to be um, connected to how many cards you play. So it would stand to reason that you'd want to play more cards, more lower cost cards than, than uh, powerful high cost cards, generally speaking. We've got plenty of essence, so I don't need to worry about it. So I think we can spawn this wasp in. Sure, and you can live on this flower that I just made for you. There we go. The sky should be more or less safe at this point. Now, I'm assuming that uh, the goat and or sheep are going to be coming at me from above ground, so this might help with that. Uh, we'll have to see, though. We've got Sweet Scent, we've got Sun Absorb, we've got Photosynthesize. We, we, are, we are waterlocked so badly, and I've got no roots to deal with anything. That is a little bit of a pain. We'll use the Sweet Scent straight away. We've got three more cards to go with. I don't need Sun Absorb. So, playing it, although it's kind of funny, is not helping me. The Photosynthesize will help me. The Y stem, I guess, will help me in a weird way. Maybe not. Maybe it's just more mouths to feed, really. But we'll build out in that direction. There we go. Okay, we're, we're over half. We're blunting the uh, food consumption by over half. That's not a bad place to be. Ah, a scarab. Very much want you to join us. Let's get you down here, because I'm about to branch out into some more food. Let's get a straight route going right hmm. we're gonna branch out in this direction so that i can hit these water sources if i can that is we are now producing food thank you very much roots got another y stem sure we'll build it out in this direction i think always trying to balance the tree where we can We've got a lot of points now for future growth all right let's see what we've got up next we have got uh, roots, draw two cards, worth it for me. Let's see what we get. Actually, I should have checked what we had. We've got another leaf and another flower. I think we're going to go for it. Let's go ahead. Ah, there we go. Perfect. 
So that's increased the amount of miracles we got. That that sound effect is so disproportionately loud for from everything else. It's ultra jarring. Do I want to try and build for gathering food? I don't think we can. I'm gonna say that this is probably the this week is probably the end of the the demo, and I don't have enough harvest fruits to even try to get enough apples, even if I could grow them in that time. So I think we're going to. Uh, take uh, a step back on that one but we might be able to hit this water over here is, do we still have photosynthesize available to us let's have a look yes we do do we have any more roots no we don't so we're probably not gonna get much out of photosynthesize but it is a, a, a potential uh we yeah, have photosynthesize came up here okay fair enough uh we could pop down an extra leaf if we wanted to and it's not really any benefit to us we've got still got one sun absorb one more flower i suppose it isn't the worst uh, i'll play the sweet scent for now uh do you want more caterpillars or more wasps uh, let's go with the wasps this game is actually making me cheer for wasps i don't even uh let's yeah <laughs> eight food is there any point no i think we're gonna go for more leaves we're, we're building for the future can I put it on any of the, the long stems? Yes, I can. Pop down there. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, for another photosynthesize. I mean, that wouldn't have been a, a bad call. Extra flowers also would have been nice, but we're going to go for the root straight. I, I mean, it'll be in the deck, you see, and then I'll be able to place that on the next round. Right, there we go. We still wouldn't have had enough reason to use the photosynthesize. But at this point, can I build up... I can. We'll hit all of that water. Perfect. Can I build out down here and hit more water as well? I might be able to from here. Yes, I can. Oh, that's glorious. Oh, we got our roots as well. Nice. Okay. Not that we need six miracles at this point. This is the last day from what I can tell. Uh, we've got one more root straight. Is there anything in, uh, down here we particularly want to hit? I guess we could hit that water. Sure. Might even be able to hit the water and the food. Oh, we can. Finally getting some water. How have we been? No wonder we haven't got any fruit. There's no there's no moisture for us to make that delicious fruit flesh. But now, uh, final th we're going to have a bit of fruit. We're not going to be a... Well, I, okay, we're, we're far from a barren tree, fruit or not, frankly. But uh, still, 16 sunlight. That's, that's well. <laughs> nice. What a place to end. All right, the final battle is before us. Let's see what we can do. Once again, I feel that our roots are the most, most, uh, oh, okay, so it's going to be all worms, is it? Maybe, uh, no, they are definitely birds. Okay, well, I'm going to leave the skies to our caterpillars and our wasps. They should be fine. Let's try and take care of you, because you're basically on your own, and that scarab should be, oh, my lord, that scarab is being somewhat uh, overwhelmed there. That is so many worms. My lord, why? Let's try and get rid of you. Scarab's hurting. No. Oh, it is a goat. We are doomed. Goats can eat anything. Sheep can eat quite a lot of things. I mean, a sheep will completely eat the grass down to the roots, but goats, the goats can eat anything. Our tree could be made of metal and it would be vulnerable to goats. All right, come on. There. Oh, look at that, though. The wasps. They are doing work. I don't think any of our leaves were monched on. I think that leaf has been monched on from from ages ago and just never never healed. We've got a decent amount of worms, though. We definitely lost roots. I would say the root system is the most vulnerable. But, oh, maybe maybe this isn't the end. Uh, we could gain an extra miracle. I don't think we need it, but a, a double absorb? Sure, we'll pick that up. Let's see. Are we going to have more to do once we hit the next day or not? Are we going to go into stage two? No. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair enough. This was actually a really, really fun little game. Even just the first stage. 40 minutes, that's kind of on par with uh, with a, uh, an, a stage or region in FTL. So, yeah, no, I really enjoyed this. I could see a lot of potential in this game. And the demo was pretty solid as well. I, we had that little bit of an issue with uh, audio. In fact, all of the issues that we had were, were audio. Like, audio volume balancing could definitely be worked 
worked on because that was jarring. But that little moment where the audio just cut out, but it came back soon enough. Maybe the audio was scared away by all of the pests. Who knows? But I really, really enjoyed this, and I'm going to be keeping my eye on this one. I had a great deal of fun. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this as well, and uh, especially if you try it out yourself and leave me your feedback. But as always, if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more, do let Saint Algorithmus know with those beautiful buttons down below. But that's going to be it from me and from Grow the Seed. So until next time, take care, everyone.